Severe weather hitting back here at home tonight. Millions of Americans on alert this evening right into tomorrow. And here's what it looks like on the ground. One driver on a treacherous highway capturing the lightning in Missouri. That same storm system now marching east. The forecast where they're most concerned tonight here in a moment. But first, ABC's Clayton Sandell on the ground in the storm zone right now. Tonight, a second blast of severe storms marching across the Ohio and Tennessee valleys and western plains. Packing baseball sized windshield busting hail. At these car dealerships, hail damage costing $15 million. In Omaha, rescues by raft. Strong winds in Kansas knocking over train cars. Tonight, neighborhoods are in tatters and pickup trucks are busy. When the storm hit, this giant maple came crashing down on Nancy Mitchell's house. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I'm thankful my kid was okay. And I have a house. This storm has already generated more than 350 reports of large hail, damaging winds, and even tornadoes. The threat tonight, as it moves northeast, is even more winds and possible flash flooding. David? Clayton Sandell tonight. Clayton, thank you. And let's get more on that threat now from Chief Meteorologist Cecily Tynan at our powerhouse station WPVI in Philadelphia. She's tracking it all from the Weather Center tonight. And Cecily, just the last 24 hours, the number of storm reports has been astounding. David, take a look at these numbers. We've had more than 13 reports of tornadoes, and it's not just tornadoes. More than 200 reports of wind and hail damage over eight states. We're talking about winds 70 to 100 miles per hour. And David, some of that hail the size of baseball. Huge hail. And Cecily, you were telling me this system is on the move at this hour. It is on the move, David. It is all shifting to the south and east. So the focus of the severe weather tonight will be across Kentucky, the Tennessee Valley, parts of the Midwest. And there's a secondary system developing across the Plain States. We're looking at the potential for strong winds, large hail, and flash flooding. Some of the rain as much as five inches. Tomorrow, the focus of the severe weather from Wichita, Springfield to Memphis, also parts of eastern Colorado. Here, more strong winds and again, the potential for large hail. So the next 24 hours, David, will be very active.